Okay, assuming you have done your keyword research, what you're going to take a look at here is getting into YouTube. And I'm going to show you an existing video, and we're going to walk through some of the steps that you're going to take in order to start creating videos that will be found by people who are looking to have their problem solved. I'm going to assume that you already know how to upload a video to YouTube. Now, what you're going to do here, and you'll notice that we are in the edited section of every video. And this is going to be the most important area of your YouTube video because this is where you will determine exactly how much traffic you're going to get from this video. Now, what things do you have control over? Well, one of the number, the first things that you really have control over here is your title. You want to make sure that your title has keywords in it that people are actually searching for. This is the starting point. And so you want to turn your keyword into a question that your buyer will look at and then click on it because they have curiosity about whether or not your video is going to actually solve their problem or help them to solve their problem. So in this particular case, let's say that you were looking for information on dating, in particular, pickup artists, and you wanted to know about pickup artists or what is a pickup artist, or in this case, are pick up, do pickup artists, you want to turn this into a question. Right now, the other thing that you want to do here is you do get a description area. And so you want to use this description area. You get about 5,000 characters and you want to fill that description area. You want to write in all of the data that you can that will help people to, first of all, find your video. And then second of all, you want them to get every bit of information and you want them to know that you are an expert on your subject. So you want to give first, you want to give them a link where they can go to your to your website. And we're just going to put in um, any website here. Now, what's important about the website that you put here is that you want to send them not to your home page. You want to send them to a landing page. Now, I'm just writing in landing page just as a reminder to you that you want to send them to a landing page where they can get opt in to your list. So we've already talked about setting up a squeeze page or landing page. You want to have that page ready and then send the traffic from YouTube to that page. Now, if you're going to be savvy, right, you can create different landing pages. You can create one for your video, create others for the traffic that you're getting in other sources because you want to know how the traffic is coming into your site and what it's doing when it gets there so that you can make adjustments. So you want to make sure your URL is in here and then you want to use all of the real estate that YouTube is giving you in order to describe your video. Now the first the first words or the first sentence you want to write it knowing that other people are going to see it in the search engine. So if your video were to appear in the search engines you want people to look at your description or the first sentence or first or two sentences and decide that they like what you've said and they want to click on it. So if you're going to want to write in a, a sub headline or a, a headline and a sub headline you want to write it in these first few words okay and then write continue to write your description throughout this description area now the other area that you want to be aware of here is you're going to want to write in your tags and so uh, when you write in your tags you want to start thinking about well What do I want people to, when people type in a certain phrase, I want them to find my video. What are those phrases? What are the phrases that I want to be found for? And so every one of those phrases that are specific, that are based on your research, you want to write them in there and then put a comma. And when you type your comma, this is going to become one of your tags. Right? So you want to put the maximum amount of tags inside of your video. Okay, now those are the three most important areas that you are going to be uh, that that you are going to be 
optimizing. Now, another thing that you're going to want to do here in some cases is you can actually add a custom thumbnail. So in other words, when your video appears in the search engines, you want to have something that's going to be visible that will almost be a call to action. So you want to design your thumbnail knowing that or assuming that it's going to be seen on the search engines. Now, you'll notice YouTube is giving you uh, some, some, uh, some dimensions to use there. And you want to use those dimensions because that's important and you are going to be, uh, you're going to be the beneficiary of search traffic when people can look at your thumbnail and decide whether or not to watch your video. So design your custom, your thumbnail carefully and then upload it here in the custom thumbnail area. Now the last thing is um, you are going to be able, you're going to get the opportunity here to add your video to a playlist. Now in some cases the playlist itself can rank inside of YouTube. It can be found. So when you add your video to a playlist, make sure that you have lots of other videos that are related to it so that Google will help determine that your video and playlist are relevant. Okay, so those are some of the things that you can do inside of your video. Now, one other thing that you can do, of course, is you can add annotations to your video. And when you do that, annotations give you the opportunity to place links inside of your video. Okay, and here we're looking at the video. We're looking at an analysis of it inside of YouTube. And what we can do, we're going to stop this here. What we can do is we can actually add an annotation. Now, we add the annotation. We can put in a spotlight or a speech bubble or any one of these things that is going to contain a link to a website. Now, one of the key factors when we add this annotation is we get the opportunity to link to something. Now, what are we going to link to? We can link to another video. We can link to a playlist. We can link to a channel. Now, in some cases, if you have associated your website with YouTube, you can link to your, your website. You can link to your uh, 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 personal website from inside of YouTube on top of the video so that when people see it they can click it and be taken to any website that you determine however that website is going to have to be associated with your channel okay so those are some things that you can do to your video to help it to be found when people are actually searching for it so with that thanks and I will see you in the next video